Hello and welcome to this tutorial. With this video, I'm going to show you how to build Docker images using Installer Client. Currently, products that are certified to run in a container have their own scripts to build a Docker image. To create a container using these scripts, you need an existing installation. The installation needs to be patched at a desired fixed level and is hard if you want to add or remove some components. With Installer 10.7, it is now possible to build a Docker image without a need of pre-existing installation. The client can install any certified products along with their fixes and build a Docker image. As part of Docker image generation, the product Docker scripts and entry point scripts will be used. Now, let me go to the example environment and go through the steps for creating a Docker image. What we need to do is to start the installer client executable with docker create image option and specify the name of the image that we want to build. In case we need a different base image than the default one, which currently is CentOS 8, we can use docker base image option followed by the base image that we need, for example CentOS 7. Have in mind that this image is pulled from Docker Hub, but it's also possible to use images from a private Docker registry. For example, this one. But for the sake of the demo, we'll use CentOS 7 from Docker Hub. As with the other commands that we'll explore, we'll need to specify the console option to force the installer client to start in console mode. And that's it. Now we can run the installer client and choose the products and fixes that we want to include in the Docker image. The flow is pretty straightforward and is basically more or less the same as the one during product installation. You will have the option to configure proxy and then you'll be asked for credentials. Once you specify your username and password, you need to choose the release. Have in mind that the container image functionality is supported from 10.7 release. The default installation directory will be used for the installation performed inside the Docker image. So, click enter in order to proceed further. Once you reach the product tree, you'll see the subset of products which are certified for containerization and their top level dependencies. Only a single runtime product can be selected at a time. For example, if you select microservices runtime, then you won't be able to select universal messaging because both products provide their own entry points. I'm going to select the deployer 10.7 and all the dependencies for this demo. and microservices runtime 10.7 will be used as a runtime. I'm also going to select all the available fixes for the selected products. These fixes will be installed during Docker image creation. I'll accept the license agreement. Once you are ready with the products and fixes selection, Installer Client will navigate you through the product configuration panels. We'll leave the default values. Uh, have in mind that the Docker image will use only the default configurations.
all the configurations and licenses should be set during runtime. Once we went through the configuration panels, we just need to proceed further to run the actual Docker image build operation. It consists of several phases and will take a while. When install client indicates that the process is completed, we'll have the new Docker image created. Run our list the images. And here it is. In order to automate the Docker image creation, we can use the following approach. First, we create a script by using the following command, which is pretty similar to the one that we just used, and adds a write script option and then use the generated script. Have in mind that you need to specify all the Docker related options when using this, the generated script. Thank you for watching.